Okay, so the first conic section we're going to talk about is a circle. Uh, and so the definition of a circle, the formal definition of a circle, is as follows. A circle is a set of points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point. This distance is called the radius, and the fixed point is called the center. All right, so here's the derivation. Suppose we have a point, and let's call that point HK. And then circle going around our point and from this point out to this point on the circle we're going to call this point on the circle x comma y right and it's going to move around the circle and then this distance right here is going to call r for radius all right so what is r actually well r is just the distance between these two points hk and xy right so we can just find the distance between these two points so we'd have the square root of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r. That's just straight from the distance formula from way back when, all right? The distance between h, k, and x, y. And we're just going to give that name called r. Now, if we want to get rid of the square root sign there, we would square both sides, right? So that means we would have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And this, this is what we need to know right here. This is called the standard form of a circle. In this form, if we have an equation that's in this form, we know it's a circle, we know the center is h comma k, and we know the radius is what? The radius is r. Right? So this is the quick little derivation of our formula, our standard form for a, for a circle. Right? So for example, say we had, say we've got this. Right? So x plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 7. We're in our standard form, so we can read off the center right away. Now remember, our form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. These little minus signs are built into the formula there. All right? So when you see x plus 3, that's really x minus a negative 3. Right? And then y minus 5. So your h would be a negative 3, and your k would be a 5. So the center would be negative 3 comma 5. The radius would be r is equal to the square root of 7. Right? Remember? Because the formula back here had it, all this was equal to r squared. And so we want to know what r would be. So r would be the square root of that side. Everybody see that? So the square root of 7. Make sense? All right, so what about finding the equation of a circle? So suppose we know the center is 2, negative 1, and we know the radius is 3. What would the equation of the circle be? Well, it would be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 3 squared, which is just equal to 9. So you just say x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 9. All right, so now let's talk about graphing. All right, so to graph uh, this equation here. I encourage you to find the center first. So the center, which in this case would be the origin, 0, 0, and the radius, which in this case would be r equals 3. All right, now we're going to plot the center, but now the center is not really part of your graph. Everybody agree with that? I mean, the graph is the circle part around it. But we're going to use the center to help us get to um, you know, get to our circle. All right, so from the center here, whatever the center is, in this case it's just the origin, we want to go north, south, east, and west, whatever the radius is. So we're going to go up three, one, two, three, plot a point. We're going to go right three, plot a point. Down three, plot a point, and left three, plot a point. We know those four, those four points have to be on our circle, right, for the radius thing. And so then you just connect the dots in a nice 
smooth circular fashion. And we say, all right, there's the graph of, uh, of this equation. Every single one of these points on here would make this equation true. Uh, notice that we made it nice and smooth, you know, like a circle. We did not go, okay, that's not a circle, so we don't connect the dots that way, so don't be doing that. All right, okay, let's graph one more. All right, so here we have the center uh, as what? One, negative two, and the radius is r equals square root of 16, which is 4. All right, so go to the center first, 1, and then down to 1, 2, and plot a point. Now, if you had your graph paper, your actual grid here, it's going to be a little bit easier to see. All right, so from the center, we want to go up, down, left, and right, whatever the radius is. So up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, plot a point, 1, 2, 3, 4, plot a point, down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, plot a point, and left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then connect the dots. There you go. All right, everybody, can you get the idea? Circles are pretty easy to graph. All right, just get the center, get the radius, uh, go out the four, you know, north, south, east, and west, four points, and then connect the dots into a circle. Okay? Now, your calculator will also graph circles, but the problem is keep in mind that circles are not what? They're not functions. They don't pass the vertical line test. You get one x value gives you two different y values, so they're not functions. So your calculator can't graph them just as is because your calculator only graphs functions, right? So what we have to do is take our equation here and isolate y. So y squared would equal 9 minus x squared. So y would equal plus or minus the square root of 9 minus x squared. Everybody see that? And then there are two functions here for y. So in your calculator you could say, right, y1 equals the square root of 9 minus x squared and y2 would equal negative the square root of 9 minus x squared. So we're just separating up this thing right here into two different y's. Uh, where this first part would be the top half of your circle and this second one here would be the bottom half of your circle. So if you plug those in for y1 and y2 in your calculator and then graph it, you're going to get your circle uh, depending on your window. So you might have to hit zoom square or something like that to make it actually look like a circle. Same idea with this one down here. Isolating y, well, first off, we need to go y plus 2 squared equals 16 minus x minus 1 squared. So that means y plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 minus x minus 1 squared. All right, and you can't do anything with the square root of 16 minus x minus 1 squared, just like you could not do anything with the square root of 9 minus x squared. And then just bring the 2 over. So y equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus x minus 1 squared. And then you have your two functions. So y1 equals negative 2 plus the square root of 16 minus x minus 1 squared and y2 equals negative 2 minus the square root of 16 minus x minus 1 squared. Put that in as y1, put that in as y2, graph it, you're going to get your circle and your calculator. All right, so that's, uh, that's the first part for circles. It's nice if we are in um, our nice little standard form. Let's go back here. Right, for a nice little standard form, it's, uh, it's easy to uh, read off the center and the radius. The problem comes when we're not in that form. Right? That's what the next video is going to deal with. So make sure you see that. Study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.